Welcome to KCSA Mathematics Revision with uh, teacher Marita. Remember, we are revising KCSA Mathematics question. Our topic of interest today is indices. The question is um, find the value of m in the equation below. We have 1 over 27 raised to m times beta 1 raised to negative 1 is equals to p243. Uh, we are supposed to remember the laws of indices. So the first law of indices, uh, if for example we have our A raised to M times A raised to N, this one will be equivalent to P. When we have the same place and the different powers, the multiplication will change into the addition of the powers. So we can have this one as A, then we have the addition of the powers, we have this is m plus n in that case. That is the first law. Second, if we have a raised to m, then we are divided by a raised to n. When uh, the <coughs> powers are in following division, the division will change into the subtraction of the powers. So we can have this one as a, then we subtract the powers, we have this is m minus minus n. If we can have a raised to m, and again this one is raised to n, so we talk of a, then we have the multiplication of these powers, here we have a multiplication, so we can have in this case m times n, which gives us a raised to p, m, and in that case. So suppose we have uh, a raised to n, we divide by a raised to n. This one will be equivalent to p. It is a raised to n all over a raised to n. So if we subtract the, the, the powers, we can have a, then we have n minus n, which is of course giving us uh, zero. But this one can give us one. But we know that uh, we know that a raised to n, which is equals to p, uh, a no, we know that a uh, raised to n we divide by a raised to n. This one will be equivalent to p a raised into n minus n, which is given gives us a raised to zero. So any number raised to zero is one. Therefore, we can conclude that A raised to zero is equals to P one. Those are some of the rules of indices that we are supposed to apply in a such kind of a problem. So back to our question is now, we are supposed to express under the pace. So express first step, we express, express under, under, the same pace express under the same pace so we can have this one as 1 over 27 it is 1 or over 3 raised to 3 because if you you raise 3 raised to 3 will gives us 27 then we raise this one by m times now 8 1 it is 3 uh, raised to 4. We have this one as a negative 1, which is equivalent to P. 243 is the same as uh, 3 raised to P, 5. So what we have done here, we have expressed under the same pace. So another thing that you need to understand, if we have, for example, uh, uh, 1 all over uh, a raised to the power m. This one can be written as 1 times a raised to negative m. So you, when we are removing this uh, a raised to power m, we move it up there. The sign will just change from positive to negative. The same case will apply. If we want to write the reciprocal of this one, will be, we change the sign of this one from a negative to to, to a positive if we find a reciprocal of that. Therefore, our 1 out of a 3 raised to power 3 raised to power m, we can write this one as 1 times in this case 3 raised to 3 
then we have this one is raised to m times in this case uh, three if we open the, the we multiplication of this one we go to our our rule this rule where we have a raised to power m times n a raised to power m then it is to, to n, so we have m times n, so this one will be 4 times negative 1, so we have this is 3 raised to negative 4, which is equals to be 3 raised to power 5. So we can now uh, open the brackets, okay, also we can work out this one, so we have 3 raised to power m times 3 raised to negative 4, which is equals to be 3 raised to power 5. We have simplified this one. We can now equate the indices. So we say that here, equating the, so we can have you can have here equating. We have this one, the, equating the powers. Equating the powers, we can have. So if we can equate the powers, we can have. Uh, if we can equate the powers, we can have, we can have minus uh, 3m, the multiplication sign will change into addition, so we have this one as a negative 4, which is equals to p5. Equating the powers here in that case and solving for m, we have minus 3 minus 4, in that case minus 3m minus 4, is equals to p5. So we take 4 to the other side, so we remain here with minus 3m, which is equals to p. When we take 4 to the other side, it becomes a positive. 4 plus 5 becomes our 9. So we divide here by negative m3, and here we divide by negative 3. So the value of m is equals to p negative. We have this one as negative 3. More of these questions you can solve, you can have a book. Uh, KCSC Masterpiece Revision Mathematics Practical Manual Form 2. Visit this book and you will be having so many questions from there. Thank you.